And welcome back to the Dawn Show. So here back here with uh, Natasha Warner, host of Table Talk, and Ken Dunnick, publisher of Jersey Man Magazine, former Philadelphia Eagle, football player. So um, how lucky, or maybe it was a little psychic, that you have Governor Chris Christie, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, on the cover of your magazine for right. the December issue, right. and then bam! I'd like the to say that we had inside information to know <laughs> that this was all going to happen, but we didn't. Uh, we felt like uh, Governor Christie was the quintessential Jersey man. Of course, he's such a big, powerful figure and, and character. And uh, Matt Rooney, who I actually met here at WMCN <coughs> doing a, a previous show, had a contact with the governor's office and uh, got us some information there. We ran with the cover and uh, I think to date this has been our most popular issue. Mm -hmm. So we were uh, very timely with uh, having the governor on the cover. So hopefully it's not like a Sports Illustrated, the SI curse. Could be the, he's on the, the cover Jersey Man and then... jinx, right? I, mean, I, never, I never thought of that. And then but, Bridgegate uh, happens right after that. You know, I, we, we were talking during the break about what's <clears> happened with him and I, I, it would be hard for me to believe that he had prior knowledge uh, of, uh, of this situation with Bridgegate. However, you and I have spent some time in Chicago, and there's nothing like the political machine in Chicago doing some arm twisting and, and convincing of uh, political enemies to do it their way. So um, that's just the way uh, things are done in politics. I don't care if it's New Jersey, Chicago, or wherever. Or Philadelphia. Uh, it's, it's, or Philadelphia. <laughs> I mean, it's, not, it's not a perfect world, but uh, that's just the way things are done. I personally don't think he, had, he really had prior knowledge to this. I don't, uh, he's got too much at stake to get involved in, in a situation like that. So, but we'll see. I'm sure some, some other facts know. will, will come know. about. I we'll just, see. I, I'm not saying that I don't believe him or I do believe him either way. I just think they're, you know, it, it's possible that he knew and he just said, hey, don't tell me. I don't, my name's not in it. Bennett, not in it and you know don't drag me into this mess so i don't know that i believe we'll just wait and see what happens but i'm not 100 percent saying that you know oh he's he's innocent i just think here's the deal if he came out like he did and when he came out and said i did not have knowledge of this i'm a loyal guy i trust my people i trusted them they betrayed me mm -hmm. i fired them so when he comes out and says that first of all i did believe him and part the part of the reason i believe him is because if he's lying mm -hmm. He's done. Right. But He's you know, cooked. We've had scandals before, and I just think we're a forgetful society. Um, I can't even remember the governor, not the governor, was it the governor? The one that was, um, um, I forget. Well, him. the most famous one is, I did not have well, relations have with it. that woman, now, and now, what is, is. That's and, the best you know. example. So, you know, we find out that that wasn't necessarily true. So. I just don't know. We th when you look at President Clinton now, former President Clinton. He's doing well for himself. Right. We've forgotten. We've moved on. I don't think we've forgotten. Well, we didn't he forget, had, but we forgave him. For, we forget. We you know, forgave we forget, him. We, right. We forgave him, and we've moved on, so to speak. And also, the nature of politics is that you know, uh, enemies, political enemies, will pounce when they see an opportunity, and I think that that's happening Everybody's here. Everybody's pouncing The Dems now. think he's a threat. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't be paying this right. much attention to this situation. Right. So, we'll see how it plays yeah. out. But uh, I, I think he's going to survive. Yeah, and the other thing is, I would say, Bill Clinton, we knew about his shenanigans when he was governor. That's consistent. Mm -hmm. Everything with him was consistent. And, and so with Chris Christie, I would say, because we feel like we know him, and for him to suddenly come out and have a big lie would be inconsistent with what we know. I just don't know that, you, that his um, chief of staff would have that kind of power to pick up the phone or email or what have you and say, okay, let's close that down, that the people on the other side would respond. You know, where are we getting this information? Why are we listening to you? You know, this is, I don't know. So that, that's what made me a little skeptical in that whole thing. You also have to think about the incentives that people have to go ahead and come out against Christie. For example, the governor or the uh, mayor of Hoboken was mm -hmm. on national news this week. Right. So th that's going to further her career. So you, you don't know how much of this stuff is self-serving. And you know, again, uh, political enemies will pounce when they see weakness. And this is really the first crack in, uh, in Christie's armor. So we'll see where it goes. Yeah, and we'll see how he handles it because he, he has handled the media so well. He's been a darling of the media. And so now we'll see where it goes from here. Mm -hmm. But I think you're right. I mean, I think that if he, if this comes out that he did know, and, and here he is, he has presidential aspirations, mm -hmm. I think he's done. Oh, that part, definitely, he's done. The, re the refreshing part about Christie, and one of the reasons why we had him on the cover was his brutal honesty. Yeah. And, you know, politics is uh, 
really a bunch of BS for the most part. And here you got a guy who's really not a physically attractive man. You know, he's not tall in stature. So. He's, uh, <laughs> from, from what I understand, from what, what women tell me. But, you know, I, I think that his attractiveness is his ability to tell it like he thinks it is. But a lot of people think he's a bully. Well, so, some do, some don't. But I do, you know, if you look at our society, Judge Judy is immensely popular. Yes, that's true. You know, like her or hater, she tells it like it is. You're comparing you know? Chris Christie to I Judge am, Judy? I am. That's and, awesome. And, and <laughs> uh, you know, like Mike Missanelli, a local radio guy, like him or hate him, he tells it the way he thinks it is, and there's no filter there, and I think people are And people are, are attracted to that, yeah, I, I would agree, because I yeah. say a lot of things, you know, on my talk show, you know, on my blogs, and, you know, you would think that, you know, sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I should say that, but, you know, I just go for it. So you're right, people are attracted to um, the brutal honesty that folks will, you know, like Christy and Judge Judy will. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> but you didn't think you were going to hear that comparison. Today, I didn't. Sure. I love it. I'm I visually love visual. it. <laughs> so when we come right back, we're going to talk more sports, why you might want to divorce your cell phone, much more when we come right back. <laughs> <laughs>